They're the people who say, I can make a difference in your life, and that's how he made a difference in my life. Hopefully you're here, and one way or another, he's that, that pebble that caused a ripple, and you don't know the significance until it's passed. But you really don't know the significance of anyone until the course of history has, has gone all its course. Because who knows, it's what they call that butterfly effect, that one person makes a difference, brings us together, makes us think, and we'll go on, we'll forget this day, but something happens in each moment. And the changes that make a difference today affect your life, and you affect the lives of others, and it keeps going, and hopefully, by the grace of God, all is for good. Milos Shekhovats wrote, Terrible news, that was a special pers person in all respects. He could disarm you with a sunny smile and scare you with a sharp mind. What a loss. Mm -hmm. Which we went out to because he bicycled so much. He used a great amount of energy and would eat more than anyone I'd ever seen eat. <laughs> we went out to Chinese food and when we go to Chinese food, we get a dinner which has a, most of you know, you get the appetizer and the soup and the main dish and your, your cookies afterwards. And we usually had something extra to take home. Well, we were out with Doug, and he was finished with his whole dish, and we had half of ours, and he was still kind of hungry. So we said, oh, go ahead, go ahead, and he ate all of my dish, and he ate all of my husband's dish, and then he ordered another huge bowl of rice. I, I just, he amazed me with that. And, but between his activities and, and his pontificating, um, the two of us would also get into these arguments from time to time. I referred to us as Americans. And Doug said, oh no, 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 no. The Mexicans and the Canadians are also Americans. So you can't refer to us as Americans. <laughs> and I said, no, 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 no. Um, if you went to Europe, Instead of Americans, they would think of United Statesans. <laughs> and he said, no, 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 no. Oh, we went all the way to getting atlases and... and <laughs> you, you know Doug. It was all friendly, but that's, that's Doug. And I think he was just an absolutely beautiful man, and I'm going to miss him terribly. Oh, no, I'll say one more thing. Sorry. I want to say one more thing. Um, Doug's eyes would always go so bright when he was interested in his photography, his bicycling, his um, anything that he was interested in. But I never saw his eyes go so bright as when he talked about Cherry. At first, he was positive Cherry was the one. And unfortunately, Cherry didn't have that in mind. <laughs> <laughs> and she, he would come, he would talk to us and say, oh yeah, well, I'm still working on her. And she went across the seas, and he went across the seas. <laughs> and she came back, and he would tell us about how he had taken her for a walk, but he had secretly hidden a basket with a huge picnic in the bushes, and oh, look, here's a basket. <laughs> <laughs> and eventually, she did realize that he wasn't going to give up. <laughs> <laughs> and she realized what a treasure he was. And uh, we were there at their wedding, privileged to be there at their wedding. And Some sort of piece of fruit. <laughs> I was thinking about scouts. We had so many uh, years together as scouts. It, it all kind of blurs together in many ways. Uh, as I said, Doug was an Eagle Scout. It's the highest rank in scouting, and, and it's very, very special, very important. 
I remember uh, when I achieved my Eagle rank, which was my Court of Honor was the night before our high school graduation. Um, after I heard about the news, um, I pulled out a photo I have of that day, and there was Doug right next to me. Even though he had already gotten his ego and he kind of had gone off away from scouting, uh, you know, to do other things, and there he was, uh, standing right next to me at uh, my court of honor. The next day was our high school graduation. Now Doug was a 4.0 back when 4.0 actually meant something. <laughs> he got an A in every single class. There were no AP classes, that, that tells you how old it was. There were no AP classes, no, no inflated grades, no weighted grading or anything like that. Unfortunately, Doug was not actually named valedictorian because it was another person who also had a 4.0. And uh, the peop and this is also before award inflation, where they would just simply give everybody valedictorian status. <laughs> they, they actually made a distinction, and because the other person had spent more time doing school-oriented activities, she was a cheerleader and stuff like that, <laughs> they named her the valedictorian, and Doug was what was called the salutatorian. But the reason Doug hadn't been quite so active his senior year was he had gotten a job off campus. In fact, he was working in one of those small little engineering firms in, just kind of outside of Santa Barbara. And of course, he was only about you know, 17, he wasn't even a graduate yet of high school. So uh, what he was doing was he was doing assembly work, right? He was, he was just there at the bench, soldering. And uh, he told me that one time he was uh, working, just soldering away, he looked at what he was doing, and he didn't really like the design. <laughs> so he remade it, <laughs> right there at the bench. And all the parts came out with Doug's new design. You can imagine, I mean, a 17-year-old, not even a high school graduate, decides to redo the design. You can imagine how that worked. But as he said to me, my design was better. <laughs> anyway, it's been, it, it, you know, how things go sometimes. We went to different uh, colleges and went different ways. Um, the last time I spoke with Doug directly was at our 25th reunion. Sherry was there. Uh, he actually uh, helped some of my students. I, I teach English down in San Diego. Uh, one of my students wanted to work a paper up on NASA. Doug was kind enough to uh, help my student out. Um, you know, everybody knows what, what a great guy he was. Um, uh, he'll be very missed. <laughs>